Christopher, our mad dog Russo is here in the showdown. How are you, doggy? It's always a pleasure, Brian. Obviously, with Mr. Stark and Ruben there, you got a, a steam cast. Can I say a couple things before we get going? Yes. Number one, can you hit in the postseason before I say you're the greatest offensive team in all of time? <laughs> I love the 94 in I love the 94 Indians too. Atlanta killed them their pitching in the postseason. They couldn't hit. They lost 5-2. Clavin threw a one-hitter. Maddox had a perfect game going. They couldn't hit in the postseason. So, I, to me, I love the team. They were 144. You can't quite say they didn't Bell hit in the postseason. They came with it, a blown hit. save of winning a World Series title. And the Braves, the old Braves only won World Series title. And the old Dodgers only won one World Series title. So, sometimes yeah, you get flukish well, well, results, now, dog. Now, Brian. 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 The 97 Indians are a different team than the 94 Indians. Okay, okay. Matt Williams wasn't on the 94 Indians. He was on the 97 Indians. It's a different with Tony. Okay. It was a different team. All right. I think, I think you got to put the 02. I, how about the 02 Angels? That team was a tremendous. They won the whole thing. Hitting? They came from 5 nothing Hitting? back with a giant. That Hitting? was a great offensive team. Hitting? The 02 Angels. I hate to, all right, all right, Elijah, tell yeah, me. They were good. What's the way you run square plus? Good. 2002 Angels. I guarantee they're, they're nowhere near the Braves or the Big Red Machine or the Indians of the 90s. No one near. A, they're a good baseball team, uh, well, well, but they weren't the, explosive the offense. Indians, the Indians, Brian! The Indians didn't win a championship. They came you within one blown title. save in a game seven of beating the Marlins. No, they should have at the least one. Team. The 94 Indians did not have it was a different team than 97. Matt Williams and Tommy, guy was a different team. All right, dog. And they only won 88 games the in the 97 dog, Indians. It's a different ball club. Dog, the 2002 Angels starring David Eckstein had a 105 OPS plus. They were barely above league average. These Braves have a 125. It's not the comparable. Postseason. At least bring oh, up they, DiMaggio oh, and Dickey the... and Gehrig. Bring them up. Oh, They're comparable. God. How about that 61 Yankees? I, I you did the math. 61 Yankees. Six, yeah, no, 61 Yankees are there with the Braves. I almost got them in the essay, but I can't do a 20 minute essay. So, no, you're right. With Mantle, Maris, and Elston Howard had a monster year. Yes, 61 Yankees are like that type of bashing club. I'll give you that. All right, dog, I want to ask you this. Well, the, they... Yeah, go, yeah, yeah. All right, you want to yell at me? Go ahead. Yeah, yeah, you did? Yeah. Well, I mean, I don't understand. I mean, <laughs> go look at the old two angels offensively with Klaus and 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 and, and Tim Salmon and Erstead. That was a, a Garrett a Anderson. That a was a, a the, the second club. baseman was good. That was a very that was an excellent offensive team. And Brian, if you're gonna put these teams in these classic categories of all-time great so, offenses, you gotta win the whole thing. They were five percent better than league average. In the, World and you're, Series the second baseman, the, the, the second baseman you're thinking of is Adam Kennedy. He's not Rogers Hornsby. Come on, dog. Great, yeah, he was a good hitter. It's a good hitter. Yeah, oh, probably five percent better than league average. Won. Uh, at least the Angels won. They the, did the win. The Indians didn't win anything. They did. They did. They came within the, one the point. The Indians got yeah, yeah, smoked yeah, by yeah, Atlanta. Yeah, yeah. The Indians got smoked by the Braves. Smoked. Oh, my didn't God. Didn't they lose in What's six? Next? They didn't get smoked. It happens in small sample size of these things. They right, went dog, down 3-1. Dog, explain one. this. All right, dog. Since you know. Game, dog, I was out of every game dog, in that dog, dopey dog. series. So, they went down 3-1. They were never competitive. Never com Go not ahead. competitive. Continue. Weird things happen in the playoffs. Dog, since you know everything, explain this to me. The Orioles are 74 and 45. Best record in the American League. Like, explain that. And I'm looking at them statistically as well. They're a nice team, but why are they as good on the field as they are? Because they're better on the field than they are on paper. Brian. Everything doesn't come down to your little data and your little <laughs> statistics and what OPS there. You gotta watch the ball clubs. There's some. There's something called chemistry. All right. So now, when you watch What's the Orioles, there? do you God. say, "Wow, this is such a great team"? You can, which so when you watch when numbers. you watch the Orioles, then you're go, you're blow, like, "Wow, this team does all these things so well." They're not some great fielding team. They're not some great base running team. I get it if it was that. That's not it. They just hit well. They have one starting pitcher above league average, and they have a killer bullpen. Is that it? I guess that's the recipe. That's part of it. And they got a lot of young players, you know, Rutschman and, and uh, Henderson, and they got a uh, Mullins yep. is a very good player. Yep. Hey, the first baseman's done a good job. Hayes is a good player. Moncastle was sick. He's done. That guy's a good team. Yeah. Now, now it's I good. agree with you. Yeah. I'm not sure if they are 30 win over 500 good, but that's a very, very good team. Yeah. I mean, they've done it. And they also tracked down Tampa, and they played well in a division. Yeah. You know, one thing on the 53 Dodgers before you wax <laughs> poetic for three hours on end. <laughs> yes. And I love those teams. I love that team. Yeah, you know, they lost really. in the World Series, too, you know. Yeah. They lost in the World Series, too. Yeah. 
to the Yankees, who won I mean, five that, World Series in a row. And were they, did they lose in seven or they lose in six? I mean, it's one series, six, dog. Six, it happens. They won 107 six, games six. that year. The 53 Dodgers were the best of the Dodgers back then. That was the best year they had, 107. Any other things from our last argument you'd like to bring up? Anything from last month? Uh, is that it? Are we good? <laughs> uh, the 27 Yankees, the 27 Yankees with Ruth and Garrick, mm -hmm. and the 61 Yankees with Maris. Yeah. You start there. Yeah. And Mantle. And let me see the Braves with all with the Michael Harrises and the Kevin Pillars and guys, you know, and, uh, you know, Durno and Murphy. Let me see them hit against quality pitching in postseason. And when yeah, I do that, okay. then you and Mr. Stark and Mr. Amaro can put them up there with the all-time classics. Doug, can we at least well, I, see that Doug, before I, we wax no, forward right, on no, this, but, As I say, like, hey, can we see it in the playoffs? Well, right, well, we have a show today. You know, you got a show today. We're talking about now. All right, Doug, one last thing. Did you see Jeffrey Loria blasted Derek Jeter for taking the sculpture out of the outfield now that the Marlins are good? We're watching the Marlins. Oh, is I he, didn't is see he, that. Is he right? Uh, of course he's wrong. Uh, that sculpture was ugly and nasty. Get that the hell out of there. Uh, Gloria was, well, there it is. That dopey sculpture that only he as an artist who was an art collector wanted to buy. Oh, my God. Jeter can do what he wants. Good job. I love you, Brian. Keep it going and break down all the baseball for me. All right. I guess, we're, I, I guess you're done. What, do you have lunch? Do you have lunch planned? Are you going? Oh, uh, drive me crazy. <laughs> all right. But I, you might be right on the sculpture, but the sculpture was kind of, it was unique. It was a signature piece, you know? It had its own flavor, its own uh, personality. It's not part of a ballpark. Hey, come on, you can't put that in that dopey ball. No, it's like the uh, Tao <laughs> Smith day, the the Tao's Hill. The Hill. Out there at Old that was dangerous. When they that was, that was dangerous. Field. Guys were running into that it with their knees. And, yeah. That was right. All right, we'll let you go, dog. Always good talking to you. See you, pal. I love you there, Brian. Keep it going.